Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. I'm sorry, I got my incense sticks burning and it's a little bit foggy. <laughs> so it's the end of the festive season and the start of a new year coming up shortly. So I thought let's do some lessons on maybe some perspective and, and scale and that type of stuff. I thought it would be good to get away from all those Christmas paintings. So without further ado, let's have a quick look at the palette and let's get on to the painting. It's time to learn with our friend Clive So grab your brush, have a great time And don't forget to click subscribe So today is going to be a little bit of a lesson um, uh, Yeah, I thought, because I've lost my mojo Has anybody lost their mojo? Has anybody lost their mojo painting? Have, have you lost your creative juices? Sometimes we go through stages where we lose that and um, and I certainly have over this festive period so as I sharpen my pencil uh, let's have a quick look at the the palette and I got some yellow it's just a basic uh, mid yellow uh, like a like a, um, a cadmium yellow or something like that I got some hookers green because we're going to be doing some grass and that and I've got a couple of different yellows. I've got a yellow ochre and I've mixed a little bit of burnt umber with the yellow ochre to get that colour. Um, I've got some red oxide or a red with some burnt umber in it would be good. You could do that. Um, I've got some um, ultramarine blue. I've got some very pale grey which I've made from white and black and a little bit of burnt umber. So I've made that lovely grey colour. That's Mars black, that's burnt umber. What I am done... It put some titanium white on my palette because I forgot. So as I do that, I think it's important that we have a look at the panel that I'm going to be painting on today. And the panel is basically, as you know, is a little bit of cardboard, a little bit of mount board. And um, I've actually had to buy some more. So once I um, get that and see if it's the right stuff, because sometimes we get stuff delivered to us and it's not exactly what we've ordered. Um, and I'll put that in on, on in a future video for you if you want to pop, pop along and buy some of that and I put them um, some gesso on there um, it's a ground basically and um, yeah I've just left it white so I, what I thought I would do now is just get any old brush any old brush get a little pot of I'm just going to use just plain old tap water today there we go I haven't cleaned my pot very much um, so my first time I've been in the studio um, since before Christmas actually it's been really good. I'm just going to moisten down my palette, get a little bit of white. I think I'm going to just get a touch of burnt umber to that. There we go. And I'm just going to very quickly just put a very quick glaze of colour just over the 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 um the canvas or piece of board or whatever you paint on. Um, I can get away with putting this on a, a little bit thinner. Then you can, if you're using canvas, I suggest you... Um, Jess with the canvas really well a couple of times and then um, if you're going to use thin paint like this use a little bit of medium in it and you should be okay but I'm painting on cardboard so it's very absorbent and I can get away with using my paint very very thinly like watercolor there we go so I've just put a, a nice glaze of color on there um, I'm just going to dry that off very quickly with a hairdryer yeah, painting really good for the mental health, I think. Painting's really good for the mental health. And um, if you've been like me, if you've been eating a lot of mince pies and turkey and, and all the trimmings and maybe some alcohol, maybe some alcohol have squeezed its way in there and I've got rather, I got rather a big belly now and I need to get in the gym and work some of that off. Okay, so I thought we'd just try and get some sort of maybe river bank or something coming in so it's always a good idea just to give yourself an idea of what you want to accomplish so i always try to start with some sort of a a drawing or a sketch out and as you come down into the foreground obviously the bank of water the amount of water there to there gets wider because it gives you that perspective if you're going in a distance. It's a bit like train tracks when you do your train tracks like that. It just gives you that perspective that this is going in a distant. And this is coming into the mid-ground. And then this is the foreground. So you've got the foreground, the mid-ground and the background. There we go. 
So that's just an idea if you've never painted before and you want to give it a try. Um, and I get a lot of people trying painting for the first time with myself, which is pretty good. So I'm just going to just use a, a one inch flat or a one inch short flat. It, it depends what you call it in your country. And um, I'm just going to get some green. There we go. This is some green. A little bit of burned umber to it because I want to. I want to make it quite dark. And all I'm going to do with it then is bring that. Bring that green in. Just like this. Don't stand on ceremony. Just bring that in. Just like that. This is the first painting I've done. In, an, in, a, in a quite a few weeks actually so I might be a bit rusty because you can figure you can lose your you can lose your um, painting skills if you if you don't it's like a muscle if you don't exercise your muscle is deteriorate and you lose some muscles and it's the same with your brain your brain is just a muscle don't forget your brain is just a muscle so if you if you don't use the brain creatively you lose that creative skill and sometimes when we have a little break like holidays and things like that, or the summer comes. These these incense sticks are, are really starting to annoy me now. They're getting off my chest. <laughs> Let me move that one over. Why is that one smoking so much? Dear me. Um, we go on holidays sometimes. We come back and we think, well, we got to we got to do a painting. I don't really feel like doing a painting. You know what I mean? And uh, that's because you haven't exercised your brain. And your brain needs exercise, like every other muscle in your body. It really does. Let's get a bit of blue now. Where's our white? There we are. Get a bit of blue. I'm just going to add a little bit of white to this blue. Now, water is not always blue. Um, I want to emphasize this, that water, we, we associate water being blue, but it isn't always blue. But in this case, it's blue. So we need to get some water in. We'll bring the water in like this and as we come closer down into the mid-ground there we go we're just going to darken that water up just like this and then we get a little bit of burnt umber and a little bit of blue there we go so we darken our blue again see what a lovely color See how we can get to darken uh, a colour by just using a little bit of brown to it. I, I, I love burned umber for, for darkening colours. I think it's quite a nice way to do it. So we've got a bit of shadow coming in. There we go. Let's get that down there. And just plonk that in. Anybody can do this. Anybody can paint. You've just got to have a little bit of patience and... The peace of mind, or the, the 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 mindset, I should say, to actually have a go. Never, never, never say you can't do nothing. Always say that you can give it your best shot, and don't let anybody judge you. You know, if somebody says to you, "Oh, that's not right. This is not right." Well, you've done your best, and you can. That's all you can do. That's all you can do is your best, and you just keep practicing, keep exercising that muscle as a brain. Keep exercising it. Keep being creative. Paint or draw something at least once every two days. And before you know it, you will be really, really good at it. It's like everything else. We all, we all, need, to, we all need to practice and exercise. You know, um, these, these fantastic Olympic athletes didn't get where they were or where they are without all that hours and hours and hours and hours of hard work. So it's the same with painting. You're not going to get everything 100% perfect 100% of the time. So we're going back into our into our green now. I'm just going to add a bit of burnt umber to the green because I just want to darken down a couple of sections of this area like this. Just straight marks like that, just horizontal lines, leaving it a bit brighter up the top there, get a little bit more burned umber, getting it a little bit darker as we come forward, same as we did with the water. 
And don't worry about brush marks. There we are. Just let it be as loose as you can possibly get it. There you go. And this is what we call painting in layers. And then we can get a little bit of yellow into that mix and just lighten that. As we go further up there, like that. Very simple, easy paintings. This um, come in four weeks, I think, just to get you into the habit of um, painting again. Because if you haven't painted um, over Christmas and things like that, which a lot of people haven't, have not, I should say, um, then you're going to find that your little mojo and your little brain is gone a little bit sleepy. And we lose our mojos sometimes. We lose our mojos a lot of the times. I'm hoping I haven't got too much glare there. Have I got a bit of glare on that side? Let me just turn this one light down a touch. There you go. That might be a bit better. Might be a bit better. Okay, I'm just going to dry that off again with a hairdryer. Oh, I got a nice hot cup of coffee here, and it's uh, mm, it's a little bit sweet. I don't take a lot of sugar in my tea anymore, my coffees, anything anymore. Right, I'm just going to get a, a small version of the what we just used, the brush. So this is a small sort of short flat. <laughs> and what I thought I'd do is get some burned umber. There we go, some burned umber, a little bit of black, and let's just put a few. Let's just put a few little dips and dobs at this, like this if there's a few stones. Rocks. On the side there. Just like that. Couple of big ones, couple of small ones, couple of medium sized ones. This in the water. Just on the side of the bank. And as we come down, maybe just a few more. And I get them a little bit bigger. So in the in the background you can see they're slightly smaller. And as I said, this is just a this is just a little test painting, just to get you into the mood of painting again. So just draw some shapes. Let the shapes be what they want to be. Maybe just put a few rocks in the grass area, just like that, just to balance it off a little bit on that one side, and then. Get a bit more burnt ember. Let's put a nice big rock here like this. There we go. And then a few small ones. Just dotted about. Because we've got other small we've got to have small ones as well. We we can't just have big rocks. So we need a few, a few small rocks. There we go. Just dotted about. And I think I think we're going to have a major rock just here. A couple of rocks in there. There we go. And there's one coming off the edge of the canvas that's just like that. You make it up. You make your own rocks. You you decide you decide what's best for you. So obviously in the front, what I'm trying to say is the bigger the rock, 
the closer it is to us and the smaller the rocks the further away it is in the painting there we go so we just put in the rocks in place now just the shapes we could put the eye lights on later on there we go and then just get a little bit of loose dry brush which is what we call dry brushing just to put a little bit of shadow maybe because there's going to be a little bit of shadow in this water of these rocks there we go and what we can do now we can get our brush and just put a little bit of shadow just under that bank because if there's a little bit of soil or something showing A little bit of just drag down like that just to get a little bit of reflection in the water I may put another one there so okay So just had an issue with one of my cameras. Um, anyway, I've just dried that off. Um, I haven't done any more, so I just dried it off. So um, what I thought we'd do now is have a look at the grass, and I'm going to get um, I'm going to get what brush should I use? I think I, I got one of these little um, I got one of these little I got one of these little. Um, bristle brushes I used to sell these on the website yeah if anybody's asking um, uh, because of COVID-19 and everything um, it's been very difficult for me to to get supplies that I need um, um, and the shipping has got so expensive uh, that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to get my, some of my products and uh, my pigments and things like that so I've actually suspended I've actually suspended the um, the shop just in case you're wondering so I'm just gonna put in some texture just like this I'm going to put a few highlights and, and stuff. I'm just getting some dark areas and some light areas in there. So in the distance, it's less, there's less detail then. Um, again, I'm just going to put a few, these are just shadows basically. So I put in some like shadows over the highlights that I put in and as you come down the detail gets more and more and more and this will just just disappear and fade away but you'll still have those little pockets of dark coming down as you can see it's starting to look a little bit like that now so I get a little bit of light, a bit of yellow, a bit of yellow. And I'm just going to lighten up very, very gently, lighten up a few areas with this. Where there's dark, there's always light. As I'm coming down, I 
I'm just going to increase the detail a little bit more. Put a little bit of reflection in the water. Just like that. Little pockets of grass. There you go, little pockets of grass. Get a little bit of yellow ochre and stuff. I'm just going to just change up the colour a little bit. There we go. And the same this side. Maybe it's just a little bit darker this side. But we're going to get that. Grass shape coming down There's a little bit of reflection there. There we go. So that'll be okay for now. That'll be okay for now. I'm just going to rest my brush there. Now what I'm going to do is get some yellow ochre get some yellow ochre and a little bit of that lovely colour that I mix with a bit of yellow ochre and burn them and what I'm going to do very very lightly I'm just going to put some highlights just on the tops of these rocks very subtly in the background just like that There we go, and just put that in. Now we go to a. Once we've done this, we're going to put some highlights on these rocks, and we need to know which way the light is coming. And this is just another undercolor of rock. There we are. I'm just checking my cameras once more just to make sure everything is recording. I'm just playing around with shapes. And then we're going to put the water in as well. So we need to decide now the light is possibly come in this way so from right to left so we're going to have to put highlights on the rights of these rocks and the rights of those rocks just to catch the highlight so let's get some yellow ochre a little bit of yellow smallest white amount of white a little touch of burnt umber And then let's have a look what that looks like. We want a dry brush. And just catch parts of that rock. Just like that. Do the same on every single rock. want too much paint on your brush when you're doing this. Just a little bit of highlight.
there you go so you can see the rocks in the water a little bit of reflection we got some highlight on them if you wanted to just lighten maybe you could put another brighter color just just to catch a little bit of on highlight just a few don't overdo this one it's just that little bit of I just rub it in with your finger you can get away with that I quite use it like using my fingers to paint there we go you get the idea you get the idea anyway I'm not going to do any more to that what I'm going to do is wash my brush now and I'm going to just concentrate on this water I think so I got a little I got a little fan brush here so I'm just going to get some titanium white just a t smallest amount of blue I'm just going to put a couple of marks in the water just like this a little waterfall there just they just run running over a couple of little rocks and things don't want too much Rub that in with the finger. There you go. So what we could do there now, I just I'm just gonna get a little bit more of this burned umber. I'm gonna put a few little rocks and things just there. I'm just going to put a little water line just under these rocks just to bed them into place just like that As I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm now going to get my script lining brush, if I can find it. I've got to get more organised in this studio, you know. Anyway, there it is. What I'm going to do now is just get some... longer bits of grass not too much not too much 
what we could do is uh, maybe put a few things like that. Put a few little bits of colour in. Maybe there's a few flowers and bits just flying around. You know, you get you get these little things on the riverbank don't you these little flowers and things it'd be good just just if you want to just play around and maybe just put a few this year and there like that just to give it a little bit of lift and then we'll dry that off very quickly i'm gonna get myself a nice soft brush a little bit of water, some of this lovely blue, make a very, very thin a wash of colour. And I'm just going to go just over that white. And all this is doing is just colouring the white that we put in place so it doesn't look as harsh. It just takes that edge of brightness off and we could get a little bit of burnt ember and if we wanted to darken up a few areas of this water just like that we could get a little bit of black put some shadow in and also what it's all about is layering sometimes It's, a, it's it's an easy way of 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 painting rather than trying to do all these different hard colors and things and trying to trying to get the um these tones light darker than those tones so just a a little wash of color sometimes can make a big difference when you're doing things like this put some shadows in you can put some highlights in and things like that and you'll see what you see what I mean like that just makes it look a little bit less harsh now you could do the same on the grass if you wanted to just to show you so we get a little bit of burned ember and black just to put a little bit of shadow in on the grass area there we are We could also do if we wanted to, we, if we wash our brush, we could get a little bit of yellow this time, and we could a bit a bit of highlight in the grass area. There we are. Just put a little bit of yellow wash in areas that you want to brighten up, just like that. There's many ways of, of, of playing with acrylics and I want you to practice that over the coming weeks and try and get your mojo back. But there's a very simple, quick, easy lesson there for you. I'm going to dry that off. I want to thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. You can carry on putting highlights in it. It's a matter of way of practicing. I don't do paintings to sell. I do paintings to try and show methods. And that's the important thing. So let's get that mojo going. And I'll see you next week. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'd much appreciate that. And I'll see you next week. Bye.